Welcome back. Forum Daily's weekly cryptocurrency and digital asset update with Catherine Murray is up next. Catherine is the host of The Buck Stops here, and she joins us now. Take it away, Catherine. Thanks, Seema. Hello, everyone, and welcome to your weekly crypto and digital asset update. I am Catherine Murray. Well, crypto is selling off today. Uh, Bitcoin's down by about 8%, and Dogecoin and Cardano are down by about 14 and 15%, respectively. Uh, the total market cap, though, for cryptocurrencies still stands at about at $1 trillion. Uh, but the, the theme and the tone right here is a broader market sell-off, um, really following a very hot inflation number out of Europe. Germany specifically uh, saw PPIs so and inflation reading surge 37% year over year. That's the highest number they've seen in 70 years. And recall, we also had a UK's uh, inflation reading uh, the highest that we've seen in 40 years. So taken together, this is causing investors to be a little bit more concerned that the U.S. Federal Reserve, that Fed Chair Jerome Powell, when he meets at the uh, Jackson Hole uh, conference or meeting, um, will be a little bit more hawkish in his tone as it relates to inflation and therefore also potentially continuing on the path of raising rates. And recall that higher rates put pressures puts pressure on valuation. So I think that you're seeing some investors just sell now and ask questions later. In other words, they want to make sure they've got the liquidity and they don't want to see additional losses. Um, now, having said that, you know, crypto has certainly gotten caught up in the uh, broader equity and, and asset class sell-offs uh, in general and also on the upswings as well. In terms of broader crypto news, though, um, Stevie Cohen, who is a famous hedge fund billionaire, um, SAC Capital was his original firm, uh, and now it is 0.72. Um, he, according to some sources, is setting up a crypto-only asset firm um, in the early stages, we understand, but, um, but it could be part or a segment of his multi-strategy hedge fund, which I said is, is called Point72 Asset Management. Um, in terms of other news, a big money managers continue to move into the space. Charles Schwab, um, which is, of course, a U.S. broker and investment group, uh, launched an ETF um, and the goal here is to give exposure, uh, crypto exposure to investors without actually owning or buying the coin. So again, another large asset manager um, moving into the space. Interestingly as well, when we think about the use cases for cryptocurrencies, uh, the Ukrainian government purchased weapons using 60 million US dollars that it raised via, via crypto um, donations. We've reported on that going back a number of months ago. Um, but interestingly here, they posted Ethereum and Bitcoin addresses to which these crypto donations could be made. And uh, once they were made, they were then converted into U.S. dollars by the exchange FTX, which we've talked a lot about, um, and then sent to the National Bank of Ukraine. So again, we here in North America might not always see the use cases, um, but around the world, you're hearing more and more of these really interesting stories. And also recall, we heard from the IMF as well as Larry Fink um, that the war in Ukraine could likely um, accelerate digital currencies. And that is in fact what we are starting to see. Um, away from that, I would just point out as well that Google has invested about $1.5 billion in private crypto capital raise. That's according to block data. And I'd also point out from a regulatory uh, perspective that in Canada, the Office of the Superintendent of Financial Institutions, or OFSI as it is known, is going to be requiring banks um, to notify the regulator if they have more than 1% of Tier 1 capital exposed to cryptocurrencies. So again, just making sure uh, that the Canadian banks also, of course, have the Canadian or fiat currencies uh, versus just cryptocurrencies. And of course, that's the case as we know it now. But we also know that other countries are allowing uh, crypto to become a fiat. So perhaps getting it a little bit ahead of that. And uh, lastly, as we know, it has been uh, a very volatile time for cryptocurrencies. Um, and it's been called the crypto winter. I would just also point out that is, as much as we see um, you know, some price stability as of late, not today, but as of late, um, the three largest publicly traded coin mining companies had or showed in their second quarter more than a billion dollars uh, in impairment charges. So, um, you know, certainly seeing the impact uh, across the board, both to the upside as well as to the downside. Nima, I'll leave it there. Back to you.
All right, thanks for that, Catherine. For more analysis and news on the markets, be sure to tune in to Catherine Murray on The Buck Stops here. It airs on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Eastern Time.